Hey team, what's up? Strellis there here, coming to you with our fourth video for the Castle Siege project. Going to show you some updates I've done to the village here, and then tell you what project we're going to work on today. But, everyone go ahead and say hi to Riley. Riley! <coughs> She's looking. She's just preoccupied right now. She's hanging out with us today while we record the video. John is in his room studying. He's got some stuff going on tomorrow, and it's a little too cold to keep her outside. So... We're going to keep her occupied in here so she doesn't get into too much trouble. But, what we're going to be working on today. So I want to renovate the, the village farm here just a little bit. As you can see, I've got these like super high walls going on. And I'm, I realize that I'm the one that made that design. But I don't like it. Like, when you're looking at the farmer passing by it, it's like you can't even... Like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like farm walls. But this... I feel like this is a little bit more appropriate. So I worked on this design off camera. It's got a little gate to go through. But the biggest thing is I don't even need the gate. I can just hop over. Um, and that's much more convenient instead of having to go all the way around to that big like archway here. Whatever. So that's what we're going to work on. We're going to finish this up here. And then on top of that. Well, that's pretty impressive. All right. We're going to build a farm. Not a farm. We obviously have a farm. Well, this is like more of like a vegetable patch, right? Or maybe not. Like, I don't know. Anyways, over here we're going to have like a pasture with a barn. And it's where we're going to store the wheat, the pumpkins, all this raw um, food that we're gathering. And then we're going to have animals, cows, pigs, things like that. I'm starting to run low. I've been eating zombie flesh. That's just, that's not okay. I'm way too established for all that. <laughs> and now I've got the hiccups. So anyways, that's the project that we're going to work on today. Uh, it's going to take me a while, but that's all right. Some of the things I have been working on, though, check this out, check this out. So, do I have any other food? No. All right, hold on. Be right back. All right, so, we're currently moving out of this house here. Um, this was like the temporary home. It's where we've got a couple things stored and uh, our furnace and our crafting table. But it was a little bit small, and as I feel that I am the mayor of this town, I'm doing a lot of improvements around here, expanding it, you know, typical mayor things. I decided that I needed a home more central to the village and a little bit nicer. So I went ahead and renovated one of the little shacks that was back here, and I made the mayor's mansion. Yes, that is correct. I now live in an estate. We're not going to call it a mansion. This is not a mansion, but it's an estate. So this is what I went ahead and built. Um, it was before it was just pretty much this situation right here, maybe a little bit bigger, but I went ahead and expanded it to this sort of thing right here. So I've got this nice like skylight that comes down to a couple chest furnaces, things like that. Um, my bed, I got two kittens. I haven't named them yet. To be fair, I haven't named any of the dogs. I don't even have enough name tapes for that. Irrelevant. And I've also got an enchantment table. So that's the first thing we're going to do is enchant some diamond armor and uh, maybe like a pickaxe or something. So I'm pretty psyched about that. But because I got the enchantment table and everything figured out, I had to get a librarian. So he was in here when I came in. I've been sharing the house with him. I think this is this guy right here. Yeah, so we got a librarian. He's a novice. Some other things that I've worked on, glad to see you're all here, is I got our weaponsmith all the way up to master. So you can see he's got the little diamond um, thing hanging out of his... Wow, that, we're going to leave it at that. Anyways, he's offering some cool things, um, but I hope his trades will change if we trade with him more. I'm not really sure how that works still. I do know that we've updated him all the way, though, or upgraded him, whatever you want to call it. So, that's really it. I've added some trees and things like that around the village to give it some more scenery, and then I've also got a bunch of iron golems walking around, because I was mining a lot at night, and so I felt like the village was staying a little unprotected, and I didn't want to lose any villagers. So, I haven't done anything with the actual castle in a long time, so we pretty much still have it like that. I've got a bunch of trees in the background to farm, some sugar cane that I had to farm for the books, and uh, and that's kind of it, guys. That's all I've been working on. So, we're going to go ahead and get working on it's enchanting some things like that, and then working on the projects for the day, so I'll come right back to you. Alright, so I'm going to be honest. We don't actually have a whole ton. Actually, why don't I use my new crafting table? Right? That just makes absolute sense. I do need to work on getting another bed, and I've just been super lazy because it's like a constant fight between me and this librarian over who gets the one bed in this place. Um, well, poor planning once again. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Riley heard the cats like meowing. Oh, she still hears it off of the screen, and she's like high alert right now. 
It's okay, puppy dog. All right. So, anyhow, I need to get another bed. All right. I don't have actually a ton of diamonds. I got more than I think we had last when we recorded the last video. But I definitely want armor first. And to be sure, I really just want diamond boots because I want feather falling. So we're going to have to see how that works. Um, a diamond sword would be nice. And then I've already got the pickaxe. So I think I'm kind of just going to start with this. Oh, I need lapis too. Be right back. And none of the trades that they have for, not the trades, none of the enchantments they have just like off the bat with books are very good right now. Unless they change every time. Not really sure how this works. Let's see. We're going to do the boots first. Don't want blast protection. Feather falling one. Ooh, that's just not very good. Okay, let's see if we can enchant something else and something else happens. Uh, sword? What do we got? What do we got? Bane of Anthropod. That's garbage. <laughs> All right, Big X, have something good for me. Unbreaking 3 is pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. Okay, I think I need 3. Yep, okay, so what else are we going to get? Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3. That's pretty freaking good. I'm not going to lie. Is there another one? There's Silk Touch, and what's the other one that people really like to get? All right. Um, does it change now? Protection 3 it did change. Okay. Still not super happy. Looting 3? Uh, I'm going to go for it. Oh, that's not how that works. <sighs> Knockback 2? Okay, that's decent. I'll take it. All right, come on. Feather Falling. Protection 3. Ooh, Feather Falling 2 is first. Is it not the highest level? But then that's just going to give me Feather Falling. I think that's worth it. <laughs> right? Hold on. I got to do some research. All right, like, I'm just not smart. Why would Feather Falling 4 or whatever, 2, be the highest level when everything else goes up to 4? All right, uh, do I risk it? Do I feel like gambling? It's definitely not going to have protection, dude. Or Feather Falling. Why would I waste this on pr Protection 3? No, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. Hold on. All right, I've decided we're going to do a trade. Get my emeralds. Where's my boy? Where's my uh, Fletcher? We're going to do a trade. So I'm going to trade him for a crossbow, which is good because it gets him uh, some more experience. Yeah, you know I want to do business, but okay. <laughs> Obviously, you do not want to do business. Uh, what? I don't know why he wants to give me a bow. All right, whatever. I don't know what you're doing. Take that. We're going to go enchant it. Um, I really like this house still a lot. I think it came out pretty nice. Like, kind of my first villager house that I've ever tried to build. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Quick charge one, piercing two, piercing one. I really want that infinite thing. Can you get that on uh? Can you get that on uh the crossbow? What's well, gonna break in three? That's pretty nice. All right, well I don't have enough arrow arrows for that, but uh that's okay. All right, thunder falling. Let's go. Protection. Shit. <laughs> that's garbage. All right, dude. We just have to freaking send it, man. I don't know what else to do here. Oh, I don't have enough. Be right back. All right, I always forget where I actually come down at. So, like, I know that this is where I come down in the freaking... Like, I know that... Oh, dude, I just lost it again. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I came straight back. Okay, yeah, this is definitely me. All right, so I'm going to build, like, a little archway to show me that this is where I come through at. All right. That's pretty obvious, right? Like, hey, this is the way to come through. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to look for some coal and get some more experience real quick. And then, uh, yeah, we'll send it on these feather falling boots. Slime. Let's go. Slime and a creeper. Time to test this bad boy out. Let's go. What else does this thing have on it? Looting. That's right. Oh, sweet. On the slime. I know it's a little slime, but 
Okay, it's a diamond sword. How are you not dead? Three? That's pretty good. Alright, what are we gonna get from you? Two? Not bad. And I know my way out of here, so... Dope. Alright, so two things. First, I realized that I went down into the cave with all of my diamonds and a lot of my emeralds. And that was just kind of dumb. But, second thing is we're just sending it. So let's see what we got. Boom. Dang. These are actually sick freaking boots, right? Like, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, and Depth Strider 3. Which I'm pretty sure means I can, like, breathe under... Or not breathe underwater, but move underwater really quickly when I'm on the ground. So we're going to go test that out right now. But, no feather falling. So, oh well. Oh, yeah. Because we can freaking move, dude. Still, yeah, pretty good. As opposed to not having them on, then you just do this number. Cool. All right, so the best thing about this little renovation project for the farm here is that I can do it all with uh, the materials that I've got on hand. So that's pretty dope. The only thing is, I really wanted to connect the barn to the, like, Crops. That's what I should have been calling the crops, not the freaking vegetable patch. Anyways, um, and I was going to put it like back here and have this area over here be the pasture, but I, like, I don't have, I didn't leave enough room here. So I almost want to put the like barn on this side and just interrupt this little trail and then have all this be the pasture. So I think that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and update the walls here. So it's actually a really a pretty simple design. I've already started it there. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Um, but yeah, so I'll come back to you when I've got the walls done. And I think just for now, I'm going to leave that wall undone. So, yeah. Y'all, Riley is passed out. <laughs> He's been like that for probably 30 minutes. This monstrosity. Y'all, our traveling llama is back. What do you got for me? A jungle sap? I definitely want that. I don't think I need a bucket of chopping. Red sand? I don't need four red sand. Five? Dude! I feel like a kid that just had, like, the ice cream man come down the street, you know what I mean? Who was playing outside. And then they're like, oh my god, I gotta run inside real quick, get mom and dad to give me some money, and then make it back outside before the ice cream man, le ice cream man leaves. Because I am hauling over to my emeralds. I should really just move everything over to the castle. But, you know, that's not how I do things. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's definitely still here, so I really don't need a rush. Come here, dude. Where's your other llama, dude? No, give me that. Yes! Sick! All right, much better. Let's get back to building. All right, this is the village nitwit. What the heck are you... Yeah, I'm talking about you, bro. What are you doing? You don't even have a fishing pole, man. Oh, brother. All right, coming up the stairs. My multiple levels of so many stairs. Yeah, that looks... To me, it just looks like it fits in so much more, right? Like, before it was just this, like, ugly gray box. Kind of like the school I went to. But now... Now it's been renovated. So what we got to work on now is the farm and, uh, not the farm, the barn. So I don't know where we're going to go with that. Hey team, how's it going? I, uh, obviously am recording on a different day here. I think it's about two days since I started this episode. Um, just been doing some things. I had some work to do the last two days, uh, like, like real work. <laughs> and, uh, so that kept me pretty busy, but I've been working on it. Uh, the farm here in between, um, work and things like that. I just... I didn't have a direction to go with this barn. I've been struggling so much trying to figure out, like, how it's going to work, how it's going to look, how it's going to connect to the crops here. And I finally figured out something that I like quite a bit. So let me break it down for you guys right now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this path that's coming from the village that I really like. It's going to go all the way through the barn here. So it's going to come out on this other side. And I kind of like that. That way it doesn't cut off the village, the natural lines of this village here. Um, and then we're going to have like another section of the barn coming out this way. So it kind of makes this like T shaped. And I just so happened to very luckily, uh, build this structure, the frame of this barn around the center, uh, with, with this path at the center. That was like completely lucky. I didn't mean to do that. I could have moved it, 
but you know, that's that. So we're going to have that. Um, and then here's how it connects. It connects to the loft and I made the loft just basically the, like the attic of this barn. If you think about how attics are usually in the roofs of houses and this is where the loft will be and, and things like that. So that's pretty good. I really like that. Um, and then out here, so this path is going to go straight through and then we're going to have like this, well, I don't know what we're going to have inside of it yet, but like right here, we're going to have like three or four, um, probably just three stables for the animals. One for the horses, one for the pigs, uh, cows, etc. Um, the stables aren't going to actually be like, like segregated. Like I don't care which animal uses what, if they even walk into them, whatever. But uh, it's just going to be there to kind of look cool and they're going to protrude a little bit from the actual building itself since this building is so tall and it's going to have a lot of like wall face. It won't just be this like huge um, stone wall. It'll have some depth to it. So I think that'll look pretty nice. And then for the actual roof itself, since since it is a large roof, long and uh, just kind of high, I might add some like kind of windows or like a balcony that comes out. I'm um, in same on the other side above the um, stables. So I'm going to keep working on it and I'll let you guys know. Also, I think the camera is a bit like... Uh, contrasty today. I don't know if that's a word, but I apologize for that. It's because I got the blinds open. I got the light on just giving the room some light. So I'll be back in a few minutes once I've got some more progress made. All right. So we've done a little bit more. I've got a little bit of confusion over the crossbar here. <laughs> I think it's one too low. Like on this side, it has to be, excuse me, right there to kind of complete the look that the rest of the village has going. Um, and that's what I did with these stables. But we're going to leave them there for now because it works better. So we're just going to see how it works out in the end. These are the stables. Um, I think I'm only going to do two because I made them five wide. And that's actually pretty freaking big. So, yes, they're there. And then I'm going to have the, like, that thing, that whole triangle is going to be, like, right over here. And it's, then we're going to complete it going that way. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. So I don't actually think I realized how big of a project this was going to be, but uh, that's okay. So I've got to go get more wood because I've used a ton of wood logs here. But uh, so this is going to be that um, archway over there and the kind of arch with the door, that thing over there is going to be right here. So it should match those two pretty well. So I'm going to go get some more wood and finish this side of the structure here and I'll be back. All right, so I messed up. Not terribly, but it's definitely taken me a long time to fix. Um, basically, you can see it here because I just fixed one of them. The stables. So, I put this row of, uh, you know, roof, whatever, too low. And so, by doing that, I couldn't have these cross beams come that way. Uh, it's basically exactly what I did here. If I raise this one, you can see there's a corner step there or a half step, whatever you want. A stair. I'm an idiot. Anyways, you could see the wooden log. It wouldn't cover it up. So I basically have to raise everything by one. So that's what I'm currently doing. Also, I have no idea why I'm doing this here. Okay, like I do, right? Because I'm doing this like two-part thing here. I'm building this giant castle over there, although I want it to be functional. I don't want it to just be some structure, right? So I want to have things like storage. I want to have crops. I want to have a stable. But I'm also expanding this village, right? I'm making like, oh, dang, man. Now you see, that's just unfortunate that they're here. I haven't seen them in like three episodes. What do we do, guys? Do we freaking trap them again? I think we trap them again. But how do we do that? I don't want to start a raid. And I don't think they're attacking. Uh, I need to watch out. I don't think they're attacking any of my villagers, although my villagers are, like, freaking out. What kind of mare am I? What do I do? <laughs> Why are the golems doing anything? I think he wants to. He Look at that. He's, like, trying to get to him, but he can't. Hmm. I don't think they're hurting the villagers. More to follow. So just so everybody knows how to do this, you basically set up your cross beams like this, so... Five high, however you want it, and then start that cross beam going across, and then just stare, stare, boom. Go ahead, do an unreverse stare, and you just repeat that pattern the whole way up. So it's not difficult to do at all, except for when you do that. <laughs> but 
that's how you do it, and you get that nice peak. And then I did mine. If you do an odd number, you'll have that one awkward space in the middle. If you do an even number, it comes to a point like some of the village houses. There's one over there. So it kind of depends on what you wanted to do. I wanted that woman... <laughs> can't speak. I wanted that wooden crossbar through the top. So let me finish structure, and I'll be back. Also, the reason I don't want to attack these guys is because I don't know if you guys have ever seen a raid. I tried it once in a different world, and, uh, you know, these first, like, two or three waves, not bad. They're not hard to defeat, especially if you've got, like, a souped-up sword, a good bow and arrow, crossbow, armor, whatever. But then they get this guy called, uh, shoot, I don't know, but he's this giant animal. Sometimes they'll have one of these crossbow dudes riding him, and he's really freaking hard to kill, and he destroys blocks. So I don't want to do that until I can, like, take him out effectively, and I don't have a means to do that yet. So, working on it. So I wonder if it's like if I spend too much time in a village, those guys show up, right? Because when I was working in the castle, I technically wasn't in the village, therefore they didn't really poke around. But as soon as I moved over and started working for more than 10-15 minutes in the village, I guess they showed up. Kind of interesting. I don't know. Alright, I think I'm going to try to lead them away, because I have to go that way anyways. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm out of food. Coming? Let's go. You don't want none of this, bro. Stay away, nitwit. You're friggin' useless. Woo! Matrix skills. Alright, deuces. Alright, can I lose him? Can I lose him? I don't want to look back. I'm not ready to look back. How are they so friggin' fast? Alright, I think they're gone. So, all right, so we've actually taken care of quite a bit today. I think this episode's getting a bit on the long side, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it, cut it here, but uh, we really did do a lot today. We've got the frame of the barn done, which is really great because I, I'm telling you guys, I really didn't know where to go with it, and I was getting kind of iffy on whether or not it was going to work, but I think it really does. Um, we're gonna have to figure something out with the corn here. I might extend the, the crop line here, but um, the the crop renovation will come later. But I think I really do like where it's going. I'm gonna bring this down another level and terraform this a little bit so it's not just like a straight drop in. And then I really like the idea of having the path come all the way through. Um, we've got our stables made, and you'll see how that kind of goes together uh, in a few when we finish it? I don't know what you want to say. Um, but yeah, I actually really like it. I think this is a pretty cool barn. What I was saying before I saw the pillagers was we're doing this interesting thing where we're building the castle, right? This this whole project here, this series is called Castle Siege, where we build the castle and everything like that, but the village is really a big part of it. I wasn't going to build a castle without a village, and uh, so the, the village is out here, and um, we're even going to extend the village to kind of go this way and that way and wrap around the castle. I want the castle to really be the centerpiece of the village. So it's a small village for now, but we'll we'll grow it over time. And um, I needed a steady source of food other than just the crop field here. So that's why we're doing the big barn. I need a place to store the food and we'll have animals in the pasture and things like that. And I think it made a pretty good area for a pasture. So that's what we got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But those likes really help me to get the video out uh, for other people on YouTube to see. So I'd appreciate that, and thanks for watching, guys. This has been Sterless there with another episode of Castle Siege.